This is a reading of Gifts from the Gods, Ancient Words and Wisdom from Greek and Roman Mythology by Lise Lunge Larson. And this chapter is going to be about arachnid. Arachnid, noun. Any of the various eight-legged anthropods, such as spiders, scorpions, mites, and ticks. He then told her that her house spider was not an insect, but an arachnid. It had eight legs. Insects had six. Jean Craig had George, the firebug connection. There once lived a girl and her name Arachne, who had learned weaving from Athena, the goddess of the arts. Arachne had become such a clever weaver that pe people came from miles around to watch her work. The gods have given you extraordinary talent, her friends told her. The gods have nothing to do with it. My talent is all my own, boasted Arachne. You'd better not speak so loudly, warned her friends. What if Athena hears you? I don't care who hears me. I'm the best there is, even better than Athena. Suddenly, there was a flash of golden light, and Athena appeared in the room. You vain, boastful girl, since you are so sure of yourself, let us see who is the best weaver. Arachne smiled, sat down at her loom and said, very well, a contest then to see who is the best in the world. The goddess Athena then began weaving a tapestry of Mount Olympus. All the gods were in it. Tarora, clever and handsome. She also wove in all the creatures of creation and the animals were so lifelike that they seemed to move and breathe. Arachne wove a picture of the gods, but it was insulting, showing the gods as lazy, squabbling, boastful, and vain. Yet Arachne's tapestry was superb. Every knot was perfect and the colors sparkled. Still, when Athena saw the picture, she became furious. Your skill is matchless, but your pride is unforgivable. How dare you shame the gods? Then she struck Arachne with her shuttle. At once, Arachne's body began to shrink and shrink until it was a small black blob with sp spindly legs. Out of her body came a long, thin thread. Arachne had become a spider. Now weave your tapestries, said Athena. But however beautiful they are, people will shudder at them and run away. And so it has been to this very day. If you're afraid of spiders, you have arachnophobia.